So here we are, down in Cardiff Bay. And if you're wondering why I'm here, I went shopping in town, then I heard news that there's fireworks down here tonight because it's bonfire night. And you probably can't see me in the camera right now. But right outside the Millennium Center here, and it says Pontypool. And I'm not quite sure what that means. Don't, don't breathe a word, Pontypool. So there must be a play based around Pontypool. And typically in me, I have um, come out with a very low battery in this. So to make the battery last longer, I'm doing 1080, uh, 30 FPS, and I hate doing it, but oh well. It's a Flixbus right here. I got off one of those just the other day. Anyway, we're outside the Millennium Center. Fireworks don't start until about 7.30. So let's head on down through Cardiff Bay, and I'll try and capture as much as that try and capture as much as going on tonight this is a spontaneous thing because I just happen to be in Cardiff oh uh, wicked on the 23rd of November anyways crack on so as you can see we're just walking through uh, Roald Dahl Place this used to be actually cut out for boats to come in back in the day and that bridge down there definitely wasn't there. So the ships used to come right in here. <clears throat> and then right behind us we got Torchwood Tower which is turned off tonight. There's no water feature going on there. But uh, I'm very proud of Cardiff Bay, it's a very pretty place. The development over the past two decades here has been incredible. So i got friends joining me about 8 o'clock. So um, until then, I'm going to head for a beer and enjoy what's going on down here and that's totally round and here's my face again i'm not under the influence of alcohol i think i've got used to this now i think unless someone starts screaming at me i'll lose my confidence again but again good at vlogging well probably about five percent better than last time but <laughs> yeah so um I literally just came back from Luxembourg last week and this video is going to come on the channel before then but I went to Brussels and I went to Luxembourg, Gent and Bruges so this video is coming out but so those of you who are watching this there's a video series coming out of me traveling in Europe and I met up with Mike and Spud Boys, Spud Boy Ben as well so um, yeah expect some good content there's also two more Rome videos to follow as well. So there's two more Rome videos. Um, something happened privately and I, I couldn't upload because I had to focus on something else personal in my personal life. But um, yeah, let's grab a drink and check this out. And the fun's about to begin. It's absolutely round here. <clears throat> so the best view is probably right by here so we're going to come out and come back here most people they get out of the car they're not even bothering to walk here so i'm going to use the loo in the dark and i'm going to also ask them nicely if they can put a beer in a plastic cup so they don't know i'm illegally drinking on the street Something's happening. There's a private show upstairs. <laughs> so the foul has been, oh shit. The fella's been nice enough to give me a beer and a coffee cup. It's gonna kick off here at some point. It's fucking street lights, man. <laughs> I 
everyone's marching off to see where these are. <clears throat> One of the best spots is probably right down by here because you can see across. <clears throat> Naughty little whippersnapper. Sponsored by Brewdog. So I've been waiting now for like an hour and a half and it's just starting now. I got an idea. I should be doing this in 4K really, when my battery's low and then charge it before coming out. Right, so this video is going to be a short one because that was pretty much it for the display. I didn't film all of it, but for 
If I was over there for 10 quid, I wouldn't be very happy in, at all. <coughs> anyway, those of you who haven't been to Cardiff, these, these, these statues here have been here forever since I was a child. Right opposite the dock bar. I've changed the resolution on my camera as well because bugger it, I'll just burn the battery out. Anyway, we're going to head back now, I think. And anyway, I hope you lot enjoyed that. My mate came out in the end, my mate Dan came out with me and he brought me some beers. Good guy. So we're going to head back into Cardiff, maybe get some food before going home. I can see emergency service lights over there already. So yeah, let's head back into Cardiff City Centre and uh, get some food, go back home. So this video is probably going to be very short. Let's crack on. So pretty down here. Let's check out these noodle bars. I might even go in this Chang's noodle bar by here the sink. Some nice things on this menu indeed. Lots of broth. Yes, that was a little great experience. I do want to see if Duchess of uh, Delhi has got availability for one. <clears throat> so that was delicious. Like 30 minutes to get to the train station. So if you're about in Cardiff Bay, check out Duchess of India. Right, let's get my ass to the train station. Still fireworks going off. Anyway, I've just run into this dilemma. You usually gather some Liverpool when lots of people are trying to leave the same area. But there's just been a group of kids order Uber and then cancel one and then reorder and then cancel one again and then pay for cash for a normal taxi driver to take them in. <coughs> Typical student nonsense that is. So anyway, this video is going to be quite short. I'm probably going to finish it when I get back to Newbridge up the valleys. If this taxi ever decides to pick me up. So we'll see. I ordered an Uber. I ordered an Uber Comfort. Um, so there's going to be extra leg room in this apparently. <laughs> anyway. One last farewell to Cardiff Bay. It's been great. This video has probably been about two minutes long. And here we are at the arse end of Cardiff station and my train's due in like 30 minutes so might as well chill out front for a bit until uh, the trains. Trains ready. They've been developing this part of Cardiff quite a lot because mo most people who come into the city they never seen behind they never really see behind the station. We've got some new buildings going up around here and this way is how you connect to the bay as well if you go straight down there so it's a dead straight uh, shot really. Yeah, we're at the arse end of Cardiff Station. Someone's having an orgasm right behind me.
stereophonics back on tour. A bit misty around here today. Anyway, next train on platform two is mine to Evervale. It's quite a nice shot by you. You can see right down to uh, Mill Lane, and then you've got the brand new BBC buildings here, along with the the coach station, which is here. The bus station's underneath this building. I wonder if the bus station uses these as offices, offices to operate the the buses though. Then you've got Cardiff's old train station. In recent years they're going to build off the front of this, that's the part of the development. And there's going to be a new tram system per in in Cardiff which is going to be great. It's always nice to see trams in their cities and Cardiff was one of the cities that had it, Newport had it as well. But it's nice that they're going to start bringing that back over the next the next decade, maybe two decades, so 10 to 15 years from now, maybe uh, the, the perception of Cardiff is going to change quite a lot. There's a lot of people opposing it because it's money that could always put, be put towards the NHS. That's always the argument. If money is spent elsewhere, then the NHS is the major argument why, why they're not spending it there. Um, obviously, there are some situations where cities do do vanity projects and they don't work out. Uh, but I do think the tram system in Cardiff is going to help because it helps connect the valley lines so you can get straight into Cardiff, straight down the bay, straight to Barry, etc, etc. Um, however that connects, like, so once the metro system is in place you can get like a, probably a cheaper ticket, that's the, that's the, you know what I mean, you make a service a lot more streamlined and it makes things a lot more cheaper. <laughs> But we're talking 15 years from now, so inflation's going to be through the roof, probably, as it is now. And uh, wages probably not going to go up too much, even though wages are going up in the UK this year. Anyway, through up the valleys. <laughs> 